Hello. Uh, kind of a last minute late night thing because I found something that um, I wasn't expecting to find. So I'm just going to very quickly do a review. So here we go. And that is to say, I'm trying to remember names of things, bear with me. Transformers Prime Robots in Disguise Combiner Force. Oh, yes. Strong Arm Optimus Prime. I've also got Bumblebee and Sideswipe. Found these in my local Asda. Uh, I, I just went in there literally just because I could. Uh, and I just found these. Uh, £12 per set, which might be a little bit more than they're worth, but we'll, we'll get into it and we'll see how we feel. Uh, these are just basically little Legion class figures. I should really have had one in vehicle mode, but um, here's uh, Blackjack, just for the size. Um, so they're, they're like Legion class. <coughs> uh, we'll do... Well, I'll have a quick look at the vehicle modes. And strong arm. Looks kind of like a one-step changer. They, they generally look like one-step changes. Uh, not a bad rendition. Looks kind of like that. I mean, there's this big thing on the front, which is, you know, nice green arrow. This is for the com uh, the combiner force thing, which is interesting. <coughs> there's Prime, who just looks like a one-step changer. You know, with like a big piece, it's awfully supposed to flip and do things. and You kind of get the idea it's Prime, but... You know, because it kind of looks a bit like a cab. It's got the big black window, but other than that, it, it could be anything, really. It's it's not the best. Optimus Prime you've ever seen. Eh. Bulby, um It's a yellow car with black window. I guess that's Bumblebee. Um, this is supposed to be a spoiler, so there's that. And his combiner thing's in the back, which is different. And uh, you can add your own jokes there, but I'm not going to because that's rude. Um, they all seem to have ports on top where I dare say you could mount weapons, which I might have a look at in a minute. <coughs> Dear me, I've got a cough as soon as I put the camera on. It's Sideswipe, who... He's red, I guess, and stuff, and... It's very laboured, but I know the warrior class figure's got the big black feet. So I guess there's that. Uh, he's got the little frill bits there. I mean, they are very little basic versions. They don't look amazingly like how they do in the show, but there are reasons for these things, and we'll get into them. And I might as well start the transformations with the one I've got in my hand. What you do is you basically stand it up, you fold the feet, which are the big massive black bits, fold them under, pop the arms out, and this one does hold in quite well. Pop the arms out, they can go all the way up to there. And on that side, uh, you can wriggle the legs loose a little bit, so it looks a bit more natural. Fold this panel down, flip up the head, close it up. And that's it. And you know what, for a little basic side swipe, he looks alright. Probably do with a lick of pains, but he looks all right. He's got the head sculpt. He looks okay. <coughs> yeah, this one, and he sends it up. That these aren't really the most in-depth transformations you may have guessed. You know, uh, you push the toe pieces around. You know, what? I was doing that without even telling you. I apologize for that. Bring out the arms. This is a running feature you might notice. Hold down. Flip out the head, close it up. Again, quite a nice little head sculpt. Um, because done with a lick of paint. But it's not bad. And it's got hair on it for some reason. But it doesn't look too bad. Can't complain. He's a bit dinky though. Seems a bit, a bit small. Uh, Prime, you stand him up. Riddle the arms out a bit. Hold the flap down. Flip the head up and close it up. Quite a nice little head. The head sculpts are really good. Can't complain. They they are quite nice. But again, just 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 paint. All it needs, just just paint. 
and it'd look a lot better. I mean, yeah, all that doesn't need to be there. But, you know, it, the, the little cheapy things. Well, no, they're not cheap, you know what I mean? They're, they're not complicated. They're simple. Strong arms, stand her up, bring her arms out a bit. And they don't go out very far, they just go as far as that. Everyone else will go out, you know, like 90 degrees. Hers will only go to there, because the wheels catch. Fall down. Head up, again, very nice little head sculpt. And this, you can split it, I don't know if you have to, but you can. But hers will go further than they need to, so you just sort of get to there. It will sort of notch, and you can pull it past that, but it will sort of try and stop there. You can pull it, like I say, you can pull it past, but it will try and stop there, like there's a, like there's a step in it. And she looks alright, again, lick of paint. That's what most of these just need. If someone wants to customise them, put a good lick of paint on them, they'll look fantastic. She looks alright. And there they are. They they look alright. Yeah, they're, they're quite simple, but what do you want from me? There's, there's nothing I can do about it. Um, and the big thing about the whole thing is they combine. Uh, two separate sets. They combine. And to do this, you basically got to return them straight back to vehicle mode, so... Should really start it in robot mode, but who cares? They don't take long, because they're quite simple. It's just they're a little bit fiddly. Just a little. They're quite solid, but they're just a little bit fiddly. I'd be worried with really small children. Because <clears throat> that's the problem with these things. You forget sometimes that Transformers are toys, and they're aimed at children. I know the big collectors and stuff, you know, man-children like myself. But they are aimed at children. A uh, quick little um, thing I did say I'd check is a uh, Dragonus and... It doesn't want to go in there very well. Or at all. Um, it goes in prime. Then we're going that one. <laughs> Whatever. Ooh, 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 knocking the light here. Okay, uh, combining. We will start with this one. And they're supposed to bam, smash into each other. But they don't line up like that. You've got to actually properly line them up. And I'm going to try and do this. I'm going to try and show you. Uh, this one's got the thing underneath, and the ram at top. This has got the ram at the bottom, and the grip at to uh, on top. Did I say on top twice? You know what I mean, you can see what I'm doing. You get them, and you push them together, and... Then you fold down these big toes, and open these as far as they go. Which will push it past the hips, as I've shown you before. And then you get Prime Strong. And he's got a little bend at the elbows. So he's got a bit of articulation. Yay! <coughs> and... That's cool. Come on. It looks pretty good. Come on. Size comparison. They're about the size... It's about the size of a deluxe. Uh, I've got a deluxe here, actually. About the size of a deluxe. Bit smaller. But it's 12 quid compared to like 16 quid. So. Though I got this for 12 49 Ha 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 ha. Because I can shop smart. I shop S smart. No. Bonus points if you get that one. And uh, this one, he's got his in the back. He's got his in the front. And he smashes into the back of him. And that folds up and that folds down. And then you fold the toes down and split. This one doesn't split as far, so it looks a little bit more awkward. Yeah, Looks like he's wearing a skirt and he can't open his legs very far. But he's got a bit of elbow bend. And something I saw in someone else's review, otherwise I would have no idea it's there. He fold the toes up and mould it inside. If you can see that, those little lumps. That's almost a Gundam Heavy Arms like shoulder missile unit. It's like four little missiles in each one. No reason they had to do that, they they just have. That head sculpt's quite nice as well. 
It is a Bumblebee sideswipe combi. It's quite a nice head sculpt. <coughs> so yeah, they're they're quite neat. Yeah, they're they're quite fun. Um, I think this one looks better. This one looks a little bit awkward. Like the the legs don't open as far, and the body looks a little bit plain. But they don't look bad. And of course, you can. I don't knock everything over. You can swap them around, but I think they look better in the original configuration. I was trying to think of the word, then I almost messed it up. <coughs> yeah, I think they look better as Prime Strong. B, uh, B side? B side. There you go. And they look alright, they're quite fun. Um, and they don't come with any weapons or anything. However, you can get these for a tenner. So I was thinking, you know, give him a nice yellow punchy hand, which he's holding without falling over, which is good. Give Prime a nice big gun, which he's holding without falling over. And that's a fair chunk of weight, uh, you know, fair chunk of weight, and it's leaning right out. He's not falling over. So, they're, they're quite well balanced. I mean, I thought this would have knocked him over. Yeah, because this is a this is a massive lump. Look at that. He's holding it. So, th these are quite good. <coughs> I was trying to think to myself, you know what these are? You know when you get kids and you take them on long uh, car journeys? And you're like, right, just get a couple of small toys and put them in your pocket. Okay? Because I don't want you having a load of stuff, making a mess in the car. Just get a couple of things, put them in your pocket, and that's what you can play with in the car. That's what these are. You, in the size of Legion class figures. Uh, the you These Legion class figures. You get combiners. So you get these four. Not only do you get two combined sets, you can mix them. Yeah, you know, by swapping the tops and the bottoms around. That's awesome. And then they're releasing at least one more set being two planes. So you can get the plane legs. Stick it onto that. And get a very forced jet convoy armada homage. You know, where it's primed with jet fires the legs. That's awesome. And that's what these are. They must be. They're just like little pocket toys for kids. You get a combiner in your pocket. That's awesome. I know a lot of people have said they're a bit simplistic and that the paint is lacking, I'll admit that myself. But they're good. They are actually good. And I, I can't knock them for it. At least they've tried. There's something interesting. There's something different. They're like a way more simplified version of uh, the Energon figures because they got really complicated towards the end. They were just, oh, they, they didn't even look that good for it. But these, they're simple, they're straightforward, they're kind of fun, they don't try to be anything more than they are. I quite like them, considering I saw them, I didn't expect to see them. Uh, they also had, like, the, the bigger figures with the little minicon thing with them. Like, the, like, almost deluxe size with, oh, sorry, warrior class, with the little minicon guys with them. But... They were like 17 quid, and I didn't really like the look of them, and I wanted these, to be honest with you. As soon as I saw them, I was like, no, I'll get these. And um, I hadn't been to the bank, I go along, cash your money on me. So I got these, and I'm happy with them. They are good, they are interesting, they are fun. And what more do you want? Really. So, now I've talked a lot of dribble, and I'll just leave you that for size comparison. So... <coughs> This is just a random one I threw out. I wasn't even planning to do this one today. Whatever. So, I should be ugly, I should be wretched, and I shall see all of you in the next one. Buzzy bye! Toodles!